brother. Well, go on. They are my lad. So every time we feel the great people, let me know the devil does a try to do him thing and add to the face. Never can win, brother. No day. <laughs> no time. No time. No time. No time, brother. No time. The computer screen, the, the light, they are bad at you, don't Ah, uh, no, man. Yeah, man. No, man. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. The bad at me. Yeah, brother. Oh, go on, brother. They are love God, you know, brother. Yeah, they are love God. They are love God, Dan. <laughs> what me I going to say now? Make you the proper introduction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on the live, we know where teenage prodigy look like and sound like. We are talking to one of the first modern day teenage prodigy. We are talking about none other than Mr. Wallace Wilson Red Rat. We build the Rata Castle that goes by the name today Double R. Give Mr. Red Rat a warm. Instagram, welcome. A double R. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, brother. Need that for represent, guys. You see it, you know? Yeah, man. We see it, man. We see it very early yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brother. Man, it's a journey. And first, let me just say thank you. Yeah, man. It's a joy, my brother. It's a joy. It's a joy. Yeah, man, let me say thank you, King, because when I go on, like, say, when I know, I never want you ever feel like we I appreciate you, King. Yeah. A lot of you great people now get the respect we want to forget. And while you're not living, I want to tell you, King, we appreciate you. You have so many songs that influence our whole generation, King. Yes, sir. Yes. And for that, let us say I'm forever grateful. Yeah, one of the men them we make. We love dance all. You understand? So that being said, I could give you the gratitude, man, as enough respect. I make we keep it out for the people them on the line. You see? Respect, me, respect, respect. All right, see him with my brother. All right, so we are gonna go straight tonight. So Mr. Red Rat. Yes, I. Just give me a rundown of your early life. Um, so I I was born in St. Anne's, St. Anne's Day Hospital. We got Dr. Wilson, St. Anne's Day Hospital. Yeah. And we grew up in a whole area. Oh. Maureen Garden and all of them places. All of, all, all of the places in the night courses, I guess I'm grown up and down. You understand? And then at the age of seven or eight so I moved from Kingston. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's where I I I started to do um music from then, you know what I mean? From prep school days. We are we are performing at the school sets and the barbecue then. So I guess that was my first love for stage before me even get a chance to go in the studio. But yeah man. We got Meadowbrook, uh, grew up on Meadowbrook, Redditch Road, there, so common sense, the whole of them places, you see me? Infant school. From Meadowbrook Prep School. Prep school. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, like, destiny, you know? Yeah. Have a way for do it. Now, we already, for a lot of people who not really know who Red Rat is, can you please tell them your musical background, the lineage, everything? <laughs> we don't, we don't left out nothing in a brother. <laughs> I mean, I don't want your eye not like saying I don't want people to know in a car. A greatness in a king. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. The lineage I come from far. So my musical journey started from my father. My father named Wallace Wilson. Um, is 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 originally from a group in the UK called 
Jimmy James and the Vagabonds. When he was 17 years old, he joined that band. He was one of the biggest band them from out of Jamaica from in the 70s. Aye. And um, then after him come back from England with Jimmy James and Vagabonds, in, in, in started, not started, but he was a part of a group where most um, Caribbean people, Soka fans out there now, Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. You understand? So my father is, is he played a, a very important role as the producer for Byron Lee. So Softly album, one of Byron Lee's biggest album to date. My father was, you know, the producer of that album. So I born and grew up in a soca music from my father's side. And then me have a, two brothers who play music. We are musicians from Ochi days. My oldest yes. brother, when he Richie Barr, he played he play bass for um, a, a band called City Heat. Who, um, City Heat band had... The lead singer, her name was Diana King, the great Diana King. The Diana King. <laughs> the great Diana King. So before Diana King was, you know, the, the mega star that she is, you know, they had a, a band that used to perform on all the hotels in, in, in the North Coast. And I used to go with my brothers, you know, and, you know, watch the show them. And my mother used to be a, a seamstress, so she used to keep the fashion show them in the hotel them. So I kind of grew up in that the hotel frame of mind of, you know, when you go to Jamaica, for all those who go to Jamaica often, and you go into the hotels and you, have, you see the bands playing, that is the type of realm where me, you know, grew up from. Cabaret. Then, cabaret shows. There you go. AJ yeah, Brown yeah. and, and yeah. all of them. Diana King and all of them. And then when we moved to um, Kingston now, me and my brother, me have a brother will play drum as well. in he, he play for all of it. Beanie, Bounty, um, Main Street from the Mob Band. So, Jummy, so, Jummy, 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 Jummy. Yeah, everybody knew him as Jum Rat. Big up yourself. You know? Yeah. So, we started from a young age. Um, when we moved from Kingston, we link up with you know the Brownie family. So, we're very close with Glenn Brownie and his um, twin sons, uh, Richard and Robert, who is Shams, the producer, will produce um, Badis and, and Graskiat and all them big, big rhythm there. Um, and his brother plays guitar for, for Shaggy right now. We started a group from prep school. Everybody a musician and I was the singer at the, at, the, at the band. And we used to perform at all of the fets and the barbecue them and you know what I mean? And, and that's how we, we, we started the musical journey performing live. It wasn't a recording artist, no, nothing, nothing like that. And then... Um, <laughs> Yeah, man, and, and that's how we get introduced to, to, to the recording side of the music industry you now. Is, is through the Brownies, um, I got introduced to like Steely and Cleavy, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, Danny Brownie and, and, and Main Street and General Degree, and because of the whole link and everything right there, so some get my foot wet into the recording part of, of the music industry, you know? Stop right there, so. Brother. <laughs> It come like the man born as a worker, car from your, like it come like when you touch Mother Earth, you just a worker. Yeah, you man, from, your... from, 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 from far out of the, uh, where we born, and the doctor lift you up and say, it's a boy, we start sing from them time. Them, them think I cry, we don't cry, but I sing, we are sing. <laughs> Obviously, it was sing, we are sing. <laughs> um, all right, that be the case. You're born as a musician, but... The whole way of calling, so it left me to ask you, where did your inspiration come from, saying, and yeah. when did it actually start? Like, yo, yeah, yeah, me. this was when me actually get the itch to go do music, like the calling. To be an artist, I mean, I always watch my brother them and, and my father and wanted to play instruments and learn from them how to, you know, play certain instruments, because I play four instruments. I can play a drum, bass, guitar, and keyboard. Oh. But, um, I would say at the age of, of about four or five, um, one time we was at the Jamaica Grand. It was Mallard's Beach at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the Diamond Kingdom performed and them came up on the stage. And I was a little youth, five years old. 
And when them come up on the stage, them give me the mic and we just start saying, A, B, C, it's easy. And it's Michael really Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I say, you know, say, at this moment, though, you know what I mean? I want to go to Kingston now and, and we start perform at the fest them and, you know, see how to the, the, learn the craft of how to entertain and perform for people and, you know, keep the energy going. So from them time there, and I'm rich, I'm ready now. Me are the biggest artist in the school. And we just say, you know, say, you know, one of them day, I know it must happen. So I just laser focus and know, say, yo, there's some more going on. You know, me, me, you know me, me still do my schoolwork. I was still a, 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 not an eighth student, but I was a good student. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, man, like, my day and the thing is, is it okay to call you a young legend? Me no want legend I make it sound dinosaur. You're a young legend. Yeah, I do this from from them. Is it okay to call you the young legend? Yeah, well, Nick, me, I accept anything, you know, cause even, right. if, even if it's a legend and people uh, have it for say, you know, old or whatever. I'm in the game since I was a kid, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. me still young, me still have years to go. Me have whole heap of more music for drop. Me not stop the music because I hate me do and I hate me love. You understand me? I say so. Yeah. Me put in the work and if the item call me a legend, I will accept it, my G. All right, then, young legend. So, we are going to start the journey now. So, what and uh, who was the person who would discover you and what was the first song you recorded? Um, the person who had discovered me was, his name is G, um, Gener Gerald Bell Nevis. So G was the manager of Main Street. He was when um, Degree and um, Buck and them bust. He mm -hmm. was the manager. Um, Danny Brownie was the producer and G was the manager. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a concert in Mandeville was it 93, 94? Mm -hmm. General Degree was the headline, because you know, Mandeville, a fiend place. Mm -hmm. At the same come from everything. And, and it was General Degree and a couple other artists, Buccaneer, Lady G, mostly Main Street artists. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think Anthony B was on that show too. I can't recall, but yeah. But we mm -hmm. was the opening act. And you have me, Goofy, and, and um, Akai, a mother and was a young artist, them in the crew. Mm -hmm. So, when you reach at the venue, you know, you know, showtime go and show thing go, them want to cut certain man and who are going to perform and rare it. So, me mm -hmm. get the opportunity for perform. And this was the first time that, you know, the, the people them at Main Street, G, G himself, it was the first time him see me performing. Mm -hmm. I go up on the stage and flatten the stage, brother. I mean, flatten, flatten the stage. And as I come off the stage, he grabbed me and said, Yo, you know, sir, I want you to come up at, this, up, up at the studio. I want to sign you. And the next day, we reached back on Main Street and he him, him introduced him and said, Yo, Danny, I want to sign that you because I'm bad. And that's how I get into Main Street. That's all right, right. You're there. Yo, besides, being a, a, a bootleg at on producer is like <laughs> <laughs> me's a me's a fan car here we go on. I love them journey because it's relatable. Yeah. But are you we are interviewing you know, so we are keep it burning. See a lot of fans who depend on the thing. Me know them want to hear a lot of things. So we are gonna just jump to the next thing. Your name is Wallace Wilson Jr. Yes, I. And you is a light skinned youth. Yeah. So I know complexion influenced the name. Yeah. So my <laughs> question is why you never choose a more traditional name like Wilson Ranks or Red General or <laughs> Red Bantana, Red Killer, Red Degree? Yeah. Because yeah, unfortunately, you. unfortunately, you're Jamaican, you know, sir. As a Jamaican, them not like call you by your government name. And, yes. as, uh, uh, and, and also, as a Jamaican, you can't pick what kind of name people are going to call you. People are yes. going to give you your, your, your nickname, regardless of where you want to say your name. Yes. So, me did, me did, when we start DJing you now and start performing at the, the school circuit, we used to play ball from school. Uh, and, the, and the coach, because I did skinny at the time, used to call me mice. 
So mm. as an artist, me used to call myself Mad Mice. Oh. But when I start par with degree now, because I'm degree apart from me, I'm about in a gradient. From me about 13, 14, me and degree apart. And God's when father. Me, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a general that, man. I'm a, I'm a real big brother who teach me a whole heap in a music and a whole heap in a life, too. You understand? Because at that time, you know, um, me, me, me never really have parents around me for guide me. So he was mm -hmm. more like a, a big brother, father type figure where I guide me through certain things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, when I start DJ under the name Mad Mice, he must say, No, man, I don't like the name, the brother. Change the name them. I say, Well, general, because he must tell me, say, You know, say I have an artist from Portmore named White Mice and one named Singing Mice. Mm -hmm. So just change the name, man. And I say, All right, general, I use it for change it. So just think up of, of a name and, and make me know. And the man panda panda for about an hour, two hours, and then fall back in the studio and say, Find it, you're red and you look like a rat. So I read what the name. And me know say if you fight against a name in a Jamaica, they will give you a worse name. So I just hold it and it worked, you know? So a general degree, do that. Yeah, man, a general degree came my name, man. So I tell you, say, man, a general, man. A real general, man. <laughs> All right. So me familiar with the transition now to double R. And it makes sense to me because it's R and R. There you Red. go. All right. So me never, me know, me know, me know. All right, so um, man have him career now, man sign and you don't know, man I get used to the circle of being an artist and not more, the more cabaret call up. There you go. <laughs> what the first song for the I record? So, so the first song I record from Main Street, because I, I, I recorded maybe um with the group, with the twin them, Shams and the, that crew, mm -hmm. that we, we recorded one song before. I wasn't really the... The lead singer of the crew, we get both four line or whatever in that song, way down in him. But mm -hmm. my first, first song ever from on a record when me ever sing and, and, and put out was a song called Itsy Bitsy. You remember the rhythm? You're supposed to know the rhythm. Remember the rhythm a Buccaneer did have Holy Pa Boy, a boy like them a gangsta, but them mm -hmm. a poor um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah man, me deaf on the rhythm, the man. Um, the song, the name Itsy Bitsy. So that was my first record put out. With, with Red Rap, me and Pony. During school list? Yeah, man, me still in school, man. <laughs> and the man an artist? Yeah, yeah, all right. So me being, being that me a par with degree from me in a grade eight, you know, when them keep like the barbecue and the pageant, them or whatever, mm -hmm. in the school, me, mm -hmm. them would have asked me if they get the artist, them because me and degree a friend and me a par in a main street from them of Luton and Stitchy and Papa Sun and and Junior Tucker and, 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 and Richie Stevens. Uh, you know that crew, that crew they're from earlier, Lady yes. G and all of them. So mm -hmm. me and mm -hmm. every man used to call and one school, school barbecue I keep and me, they used to call for, you know, get the artists them. So me a big artist in the school from them time there. Coordinator. <laughs> yeah, man, that school. Coordinator. There you go. <laughs> Student and bad artist. Yes, I. <laughs> Yo, brother. So, the first song is It's a Bitsy, but the first official song is Shelly Ann. No, like, my first hit song. My first hit, hit song, song yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, first yes. hit song is Shelly Ann, man. That girl, that mm. girl, Shelly Ann. Yeah, man, my first hit song. I want like she nice and have one bag of man. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 96, that. Yeah, man, 96. Yeah, man. All right. That's that three years after I left school. So, yeah, me... I left school. I left fifth yeah. time there. Just yeah. left school. Yeah, I know what maths, man. I don't want to say too much. Eh? You know, I don't want to identify. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, watch this now. Me, I do a little producing. And I don't like the first time me hear a song that me did involved in. It's like, it's undescribable or me that I can't feel. It's almost like all the Christian them get in a spirit, but all the thing me I look on people come I don't know if it's a rule upon the ground or if you look on we or make one nice. So me I gotta ask you, yeah. where were you then when you are here? Chilean for the first time and what was the reaction? <laughs> <laughs> but you know so the first, the funniest thing, Cassette George, you know I said when my voice Chilean, my voice the song. Mm -hmm. And everything, 
I have left Jamaica at the time because I never have no one to live. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah man, because I, I, I never have no, as I said, I never have no parents where, where they grow me. Because my mother left when I was 10 and my father left when I was 12. I so, I yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, we also, we also, you know, I feel, you know, you know, chill with friends and family at the time. Big up, you know, Miss Audrey and, 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 and Jeder and you know what I mean people were used to take care of it, even though parents were there and, and, and was there as 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 you know family figure figure to us. But if they reach a point where they have to leave, because you, you, you're not welcome at you know, you, there's times when you you you're with somebody in somebody's house, it's times when they go say, you know, time for you go or whatever. So, you know, we they end up after go the Cayman Islands and we they work in a supermarket. And one day, Degree called me and said, Yo, DJ, you know, come back to Jamaica. And I said, No, you know, so I do a, a, one work in a supermarket. And I, you know what I mean? I make something, make, try make something of myself or whatever. And man said, Yo, your song is the number one song in our country right now. I said, What? Shelly and Boss and me never know such song I play in Jamaica. Jaja. And so when you tell me that, me just book a flight the next day and go to Jamaica and as my land brother, me turn on the radio and every radio station, me turn on and turn it to Shelly and I play brother. My head swell big so and me I said, yeah. See your father got work. When I hear your yes. time, it's not even if, not even if you're not dead. Eh? When I hear your <laughs> time, I hear your time, it's going happen. Yeah. Yo, man, the man is a blessing, brother. It's a blessing. So your reaction is a swelled thing. And... No, man, I feel good, brother. You're, you're, no, you're man. Every you're year, turn up on your honor. You're, 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 you're mean, man. You feel good yeah. for no say. You, you yeah. finally get the opportunity for, for, you know, show the world your craft and the way how it was received. Yeah. I can't expect no better, brother. I, I, I love, that's why I love my fans them to this day, brother, because without them, there's no us that. Trust me, a testimony that brother. Yeah, man. A testimony. King man, the journey sounds so intriguing. It's like, me there, I'm a kid. I'm to hear everything done. No, no, people want to hear everything. Cause I want to be a job where we are living where people pass up on a day to day basis and you don't know where them journey is. And enough assumption, but when people get to know, like weight and tails and the strength behind enough of the decision them is like them seeing a whole different light. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So that being said, I could give God thanks for the journey and the protection and patience and wisdom. So uh, 2022 are still red rat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, I let, I mean, I let God out of meeting no time because, you know, you know, anytime anybody, you know, you know, praising or saying good things about me and my career, I always say uh, give all praises to Jack because without Father God, nothing not possible. You understand? Me still there after so much years, and you know, me can voice pan, you know, your label and and you know have a new a song where people appreciate and you know we are do what we are do because we love what we are do and we love the craft, we love the culture, we love everything about what we are do. So you know what I mean? Yeah, I know you. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 me have a laugh, you know, I laugh, me I laugh, because as I say, it's like, you that never know. All right, then, so, you know, this DJ thing, this dance hall thing, you know, like, the people in, before the eye, yeah. always have a slogan, something where you can identify them with. Yes, And I a lot have. of time, them have some fast rhyming and one bag of thing and million words, and, but you just know that then. Yeah. So with you know, why oh no as a slogan instead of multiple rhymes? Um, it, it as you know in a them in a them time yeah, you have to you have to do something for stand out, mm -hmm. and and being in a crew like Main Street crew, where mm -hmm. every artist was a star in them own right. That's mm -hmm. what our our crew set the standard for. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I grew up seeing. You know, general degree. I was there when inviting first, uh, first on the Main Street, Granny, and I mm -hmm. saw the process and 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 how what them what he, he had to do to stand out. Just the mm -hmm. style, Granny alone, different. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then on mm -hmm. the same rhythm, Papa San put Lord, we can't take it. Take it, no. Different style. So every artist, you know, 
you know, had their own style, their own sound, their own their own words that them so people know say yo, are them that. And mm -hmm. when when we were, we we was recording Shelly and um there was a line, there's a line in this first verse I say, Me squeeze her head and I let them walk in when they are DJ and, and sing the line, we start mm -hmm. laugh and go, Oh no. <laughs> And the producer say, yo, that bad, use that oh no thing there as a slogan. And we just start put it in every song and it does work, you know what I mean? When you hear your slogan and it, it, it match where you do, you yes. just run with it. Yo, the thing has come together. So the man <laughs> find, oh no. And at the same time, the man do him thing, 96. Yeah, I mean, I assume, sir, in a 96, you have to forward, come back a yard. Yeah, man, we forward right away. Yeah, in October, my bus, man, 96. And then we drop um, Shellyan first. And then I mm. um, said to myself, because even before me, me, me reach back to Jamaica the day when Diggory called me, I said to myself, mm. Jeez and peace, we find a song. I have to go find a second song because I, I, one thing me always never want me is a yes. one if one. Yeah, yeah, trust me, you are not. Let yeah, I'm say, I'm say, Jamo Star. Oh, what me ever sing about now? Oh, me can. What song can I do that is just as bad or even better than Shelly? And I'm say, in a them time, they you know killer will have all a gunman song and a bad man mm. song in a the same melody. Mm -hmm. So me say, you know, say me sing about Shelly and me ever sing the man version now and sing about do it. All right, stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. I never go in a school, you know, but I figure out a way of to check certain things. So, hear me now. Shelly Ann. Yeah. Play up on the radio the 24th of October 1996. That's the truth. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seven days before October complete. Yes. So, you have 62 days before the year done. Boom, boom, the man calculate it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so hear me now. You have a rattalan. Yes, sir. Yeah, because the man name is a rat. Yes, sir. Yeah. So <laughs> you have Shelly and you have Dwayne, you have Mix Up Melissa, you have Italy, you have Wrigley's, you have Cruz, you have Big Man Little Youth, you have Woman Sneaking, you have Broke Me Ducks, you have Think Your Heart, you have Tight Up Skirt. You have, oh yes, oh no, you have, me can't sleep, you have to go. You have to, you are Ufa girl, you have girl thing, you have Nana, you have love them with Butcher Bantan. They got to talk about that a little bit. You have Dali House, you have Blizzy Blase, you have Girls with a Care, you have Itsy Bitsy, you have Miss Salt, you have Peach and Peach, you have Slow Jam, <laughs> you have, he's my night. You bet the way, man, a woman to sit up there. You don't know, live with it, you have work with it, you have Little Miss Buffett, you have Can't Manage, you have Badman Crew, you have All In For That, you have Me Too, you have Gwan, you have Hardcore, you have Rumor, you have You're Nice, Zane, you have Body She Want, you have Kina Slap, you have Trisha, you have Spooky, you have Check, you have One Girl, you have Tune Him Out, you have Fight Night, you have Carry On, you have Bonafire, you have Put Your Hands Up, you have Round and Round, you have Wine. Your girl, I have alias name. I have some way right. more song, brother. Pass now. Pass yeah. now. Yeah. What I know? What I know? Yeah. Yeah. Rock then up. you have some set of songs like Bond Them, Rise mm. of Zimbabwe. You have mm. Higher. You mm. have some, yo, you want to talk about some songs? All mm. right. Rock that like big, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, brother. So, first album, because the man had moved at lightning speed. You don't know that the first album dropped 97. Oh no, it's Red Rat. 15 oh no, tracks. it's Red Rat. All right, now I'm going to tell you something now. Testimony. Then say, yo, confession good for the soul. That's uh, the thing. You know what I say? When me, I bootleg the people, them things. But by the album, the album of uh, 15 tracks better. And when time is a man I pay attention to the radio, I over a dozen songs turn number one in you know? I never see that yet, you know that. Yeah, man. We're, we're blessed, man. We're blessed and we give that the glory because we put in the work, you know. And and the album is special to me for that reason being because 
So I have an album where, where 15 is 15 songs and 13 out of the 15 go number one somewhere in the world is, is a blessing because them time they you'd have, you'd have do an album and maybe two or three songs, a big song. You know, I was, I was blessed with 